uh, today I will present you uh, a new approach for virtual networks management, which is my uh, thesis project. So uh, my name uh, is Ayman Frika. I'm a master student here at uh, UCAM, and I work as a research assistant at LTIR, uh, Laboratoire de Teleinformatique et de Réseau. Allez, come ici. Uh, so my presentation uh, will be uh, like this. So uh, in the beginning, I will introduce uh, some uh, Neutron plugins, their limitations, and uh, also uh, some problems in uh, current uh, uh, network in data centers. Uh, after that, I will present my, uh, the, my objective, and uh, after that, uh, uh, the model uh, that we developed, CMNet model, uh, cloud management network. And uh, finally, I will present uh, the proof of concept of plugin that we, dev uh, that we developed for uh, this project. So, uh, Neutron, like uh, you know, is, uh, is uh, an OpenStack project uh, which aims to, uh, to manage uh, virtual networks. And uh, there is multiple plugin uh, that uh, uh, multiple plugin in Neutron like ML2 and Open Daylight. So uh, ML2 uh, contain two uh, major components uh, like uh, type drivers, uh, which are uh, services uh, <coughs> uh, network services like VLAN, VXLAN, and mechanism drivers, uh, which uh, which interact with equipment, virtual and physical equipment like OVS, uh, Cisco Nexus switches, and routers. Uh, there is also uh, the Open Daylight plugin. Uh, so the Open Daylight uh, is uh, the most famous controller, uh, SDN controller. Uh, it's a big uh, project and is maintained uh, by multiple uh, companies like uh, Cisco and uh, HP and also uh, uh, Open Daylight can uh, can manage multiple uh, type of switches like OpenFlow capable switches or other switches with the NetConf protocol. Uh, but its integration with Neutron can only manage uh, OpenFlow capable switches uh, using uh, uh, OpenFlow protocol and OVS DB. So there is many uh, limitations for uh, for uh, these plugins, for Neutron plugins, uh, because they uh, don't provide any information about uh, physical infrastructure characteristics like uh, topology, uh, equipment types, and uh, <coughs> it's for this reason that we can't ensure network performances uh, to uh, virtual machines. It's very difficult to do uh, virtual machine migration, uh, especially uh, with the uh, legacy switches. Or, uh, and uh, also, we, uh, we are not able uh, to, to, to do some uh, monitoring uh, tasks, like uh, if there is configuration problems or topology problems or uh, whatever. Also. Uh, current data center uh, contain very complex infrastructure. There is uh, multiple equipment types like servers, routers, switchers, firewalls, and also there is multiple services like uh, VLAN, VPN, fiber channel, uh, Ethernet over MPLS. And uh, this is for this reason that uh, it's very uh, data center are very slow scalability. No, uh, it's very difficult to scale uh, data centers and to add uh, new services or update uh, the services. Uh, also, these services are very uh, de dependent on each other. Uh, like uh, VLAN is, uh, uh, Ethernet over MPLS is very dependent on VLAN, uh, fiber channel also. Uh, also, each... Uh, each service has uh, its own configuration logic, and uh, each service is uh, is topology dependent. So uh, we can't uh, configure services without uh, without uh, knowing the topology. 
So it's, uh, the, it's very difficult to update services and uh, we can find ma uh, m many conflicts in parameters uh, because uh, it's our, uh, services are very uh, dependent. So in our work, we aim to uh, predict network conflict problem when uh, <coughs> we, uh, we do some uh, virtual infrastructure operations. These conflicts, uh, there is conflicts on configurations and on topology. Also, uh, we, uh, we aim to adapt network services on physical uh, infrastructure characteristics like uh, topology and uh, equipment types. <coughs> to achieve our goal, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we all elaborated a model uh, called CMNet model, Cloud Management Network model. This model uh, provides us an abstraction of data center infrastructures. Uh, physical and virtual infrastructure, uh, also uh, a mapping uh, between uh, these two infrastructure. Uh, it provides us a, represent a, a representation of services and uh, a representation of uh, configuration uh, of the uh, network equipment. So this is our model. If uh, you see... Uh, I don't see that. <coughs> it's the most important uh, thing. <laughs> so uh, there is two major components of uh, our uh, three major compo components of our um, model. So we have the virtual network, the physical network, and the generic services. So physical network contains multiple physical nodes, which are connected by uh, physical interfaces and uh, <coughs> physical links. Uh, we have also physical node group uh, that uh, represent uh, blade or uh, chassis or uh, whatever. And uh, also for uh, virtual network, we have multiple virtual nodes that are interconnected uh, with uh, virtual links and virtual interfaces. And uh, this virtual node can uh, be regrouped in the virtual node group, which belongs to a physical node. This is the mapping between the virtual and the physical uh, infrastructure. Also in our, uh, it's more uh, clear. So also in our uh, model, we have a representation of uh, services. We have the generic services. Generic services uh, uh, is a representation of services without their value. So it's only the presentation of the service, but the instance services, uh, they instantiate uh, for example, for VLAN, we, don't ha we have just the structure, like the interface uh, which this service will be, uh, will be implemented, and the VLAN ID. And in the instance service, we will have the value of these parameters, like the, the name of the interface and the, the value of the VLAN. Okay? So... We, we will see there, we have in each physical node uh, configuration. Uh, the configuration of physical nodes are made by, uh, by the MetaCLI uh, language. So the MetaCLI language is uh, an abstract language for network configuration, which is uh, developed in, uh, in LTIR. It, is, uh, it represents a tree structure. Uh, there is multiple nodes, children, parameters, uh, and and it's uh, it's very useful uh, useful to uh, to do uh, some operation like validation of the, uh, the services and for configurations. We will see an example of meta CLI configuration. So, for example, to represent an interface uh, in uh, in a router. So we have uh, the interface, the name, uh, the, the value, also the children of the interface, so an IP address, the value, and the parameters. Also for services, this is for example a generic surface for VLAN. So we have the interface, the switch port, can be access or trunk, and the VLAN ID. Uh, 
it's my work. That's your work? Yeah. You're, you're, you're yeah, I'm a master oh, student. I'm sorry, I missed your, <laughs> your, uh, I missed your It's a research work uh, for my, my test. So my second question is, how does this Meta-CLI compare to you know, Yang modeling and NetConf uh, it's not the same thing. This uh, meta CLI is just for the abstraction of uh, of the configuration, so it does not configure. What? Yeah. What? Uh, <coughs> the question is: What's the difference between uh, meta CLI and uh, Young or uh, NetConf or NetConf? Yeah. Yeah. It's not the same thing because it uh, it's just uh, do uh, an abstraction of the configuration, so it's not a protocol to configure equipment. Okay. Uh, so after that, yeah. So uh, our proof of uh, we, we developed a proof of concept of our uh, approach. So uh, we called it uh, MAP, Modular and Adaptative Plugin. Uh, our plugin interacts with Neutron uh, using the Neutron API, uh, create, delete, network, uh, all of this. And uh, it interacts with two databases, MAP databases to represent the model. And the meta uh, database uh, is uh, to represent uh, network configurations and the equipment configuration. So MAP will interact with all type of, uh, of network equipment. This is a specification of uh, our plugin. So um, the base plugin will interact with Neutron server using the API. It will interact with MAP uh, DB. The infrastructure manager uh, uh, which is able uh, to, uh, to do uh, all kind of uh, virtual operations like uh, connect to virtual machine, migrate virtual machine. Uh, topology manager is uh, to uh, it provides uh, operation uh, like uh, uh, calculating the shortest path uh, or uh, finding neighbors. Uh, the validator will validate uh, configuration equipment and services. Also, the isolation provider, uh, it, uh, it, it will provide the, the logic of each, uh, each service, the configuration logic of each service. The node manager will provide uh, some operation or, uh, net or node configurations, like uh, adding services, retrieve services, uh, update services, and discover services. And we have uh, also, these are file, uh, meta CLI files, like uh, the configuration of nodes, uh, the services instant and generic services. We have also the rules to validate uh, these services and configuration references that uh, help us to, uh, to translate our meta CLI configuration to, for example, iOS configuration or GenOS configuration or whatever. So uh, we tested our uh, proof of concept on uh, infrastructure, uh, for example, like this. Uh, for example, Ethernet over MPLS um, needs to have uh, the loopback interface already configured on the router. So uh, if there is no, uh, so we, we tested on this infrastructure without the configuration of uh, loopback zero. And we added a virtual machine on server two, and we tell to map to configure all the infrastructure to connect the two virtual machine. But uh, map uh, generate an error uh, telling us that uh, the router do doesn't have a loop a loopback zero uh, configured. Also, we uh, we tested it uh, in this infrastructure, like uh, we added a virtual machine. And uh, we tell us uh, to map to connect these two virtual machines. So map uh, choose uh, the right services, like uh, here for switch to, uh, to uh, configure it with VLAN, for router two with uh, Ethernet over MPLS, and so on. So uh, it can choose the services for each uh, type of equipment. And uh, this is uh, the output of map, uh, our configuration files in iOS 
And uh, in uh, red, there is the uh, services server. Switch 2 and Switch 1, there is VLANs. And for router 2 and router 1, Ethernet over MPLS, well configured.